a half dozen major works of contemporary art have been added to the Honolulu Museum of Art's permanent collection. Tanya learned more about a few of those pieces and takes us for a great tour. If you haven't been to the Honolulu Museum of Art lately, you might want to come now. They have just added some new pieces to their permanent collection, and we're about to check a few of them out. Let's go meet the director and CEO. Alona, so nice to be out here and see some of the new works. Tell me about HOMA's approach to the permanent collection. Well, what we have here is really a world-class collection. And 50,000 objects really from across time and place. Um, and it can really stand next to any world-class, incredible museum in the world. So we're so fortunate to have that here in Honolulu. And what we really are looking to do is unlock and tell some of the stories behind these incredible works. Um, that's our job as a museum, to make sure that every visitor who comes feels welcome, feels embraced, and that they really understand the stories that are behind these objects. So we have a new program called HOMA Selects, where we're highlighting a different object every two weeks. So you can see that on social media, and then you can come to the museum and learn about it in person. Well, I know there has to be a fantastic story about this piece right behind us. That's right. This is one of the most beloved works in the collection. It's been part of the collection since our founding in 1927. And it is Kuan Yin. And what it is is a bodhisattva, so an enlightened being um, who's staying on Earth. They've, they've obtained nirvana, but they're here to really spread the message of, of peace and enlightenment. And as you can see as we stand here, it really is human scale and size. And so just one of the amazing things that we have here in the permanent collection. Are there some interactive ways that people can really tap into the extra lessons if they want to go a little, little beyond? Yeah, so we have, as part of our Homo Selects program, you'll find QR codes around the galleries that really take you to some deeper online content um, around different works in the collection. All right, I think it's about time we check out some of the new pieces. Yes, thank you. All right, let's go. Here in the gallery off the main entrance, tell me about some of the works of art you have on display. So right behind us is Jennifer Steinkamp, and she is a contemporary digital media artist. And you have this beautiful animation of a tree in blossom and a tree kind of going through the seasons from spring to fall. And it's a really beautiful meditative piece to sit here and, and contemplate when you come into the museum. And we also have two other new additions to the collection. We have Richard Misrock's um, incredible contemporary photograph here. He's a very important contemporary photographer. And then we also have um, a third work in here, which is Li Waiyi. He's a contemporary Chinese artist. Traditional, but also contemporary landscape. And uh, just really fine, incredible brushwork and, and ink work on paper. I know you're always adding new things. Can you give us a preview of what's to come for the fall? Well, we always have our permanent collection on view, and we're encouraging people to come and check that out. We're always doing new interpretation and programs around that. But we also have an exciting exhibition coming up, Artists of Hawaii Now. And it is 18 contemporary artists living and working in Hawaii. Um, people who are, who are known on the kind of national and international scale, and people who are having their very first exhibition within a museum. So it's a really incredible um, exhibition that we're going to have that includes, you know, works um, that are multimedia, works that are installations, as well as more traditional work. So I think folks are really going to enjoy checking that out. It opens September 16th. Okay, you heard it here on Living 808. Check it out. They're always changing things up at the Honolulu Museum of Art. It was nice to visit. Uh, they have added, you know, they had a good half a dozen over the past few months, so always changing. Even if you go there regularly, you can go see some new pieces. Yeah, and they're so beautiful, too, so check it out.